Hey guys, so in this video I will um, I will show you how to transfer uh, ship keys between these two characters. Um, I got this scene from uh, James Candy who, who who's having trouble with it because well the process is not very straightforward and we have to do uh, a lot of I mean a bit of work to get um, to get a good transfer. So um, I noticed that uh, a lot of people were working on uh, um, uh, or doing uh, video game mods are using the mesh data transfer. So I think this is the perfect um, uh, this is a perfect example to um, to showcase how to do things, um, how to use it correctly to transfer <coughs> uh, blend shapes. I mean shape keys using the UVs. Um, so let's uh, let's get started. Uh, we can. The first thing that I noticed is that I get a lot of crashes with um, uh, meshes that have the formers. So in this case, I'm just gonna duplicate the um, the base mesh. I mean the source mesh, and I'm just gonna remove the armature, and I'm gonna clear the parent. And just move it here on the side and we're gonna use this as a source mesh because I hopefully blender is not going to crush so <clears throat> let's see what happens if we just do a straight UV transfer um, so I'm just gonna go here select um, active UV as a sample space and pick this mesh and let's see what happens. So here transfer the shapes. But we can already see that first of all things uh the vertices on the body are moving and uh it doesn't look like it did a good job here. And there are a couple of reasons why this isn't working well. So let's go back, let's undo, and let's take a look at the UVs first on this guy. So I'm just gonna split the view uh, and set it to the UV editor. Let's get in edit mode and select everything. So there is a, there is a lot of uh, UVs that are overlapping. So the first thing that we have to do is to create um, a vertex group and I'm gonna call it UV transfer and to this vertex group I'm just gonna assign the vertices on the face all right so we have this and now we can um, we can already start filtering The, the um, basically uh, we're gonna start filtering the um, the vertices that are not on the face and now uh, if we take a look at the UVs here we have the same problem on the source mesh on the other side I can just select the face then invert the selection and just get rid of the faces that I don't need okay so <clears throat> but now there is another problem if I select these two meshes and I take a look at the UVs I can see that they are not aligned so we have to align them so a quick way um, there is a there is a way to there's no quick way to align them it's quite a bit of work but I'm um, just gonna show you a little trick that it's gonna <clears throat> it's gonna make things a bit easier. So um, what I did, I created a, uh, a custom material uh, where I basically is just yeah it's just simple material and I got uh, basically I painted uh, some um, some landmarks on it. Uh, just let me add the material here. Let's get. Let's remove these guys because we don't need them. And 
I'm just gonna yeah, add the material which is this one and basically I've been uh, painting landmarks here like the upper eyelid the lower eyelid um, the tear duct and uh, uh, yeah and then few other landmarks here uh, the nasolabial fold the lips and um, the nostril the chin the jawline and the brows and I also I've been painting the contour of the of the face uh, so now that I have this one what I have what I can do I can just uh, go here and uh, create a new uh, UV map I've already done this uh, but um, now what I can do is just assign the same material to the face of this character so I believe this is the the uh, the material that is assigned to the face you can just get here and uh, click select and it will yeah so this is the one so <clears throat> just make sure you get a fake user you assign this material on the fake user because uh, if you save the scene and this and this material is not assigned you're gonna lose it so I'm just gonna switch this to the UV ref and what I can do now I can just start moving the UV around and basically match it I'm not going to do that because it's a very time-consuming task and I've already done it so um, this is what this is how it looks like with the UVs aligned did not perfect but it's good enough for this demonstration so now let's try to do the transfer again and um, I'm just gonna turn the, the texture off and let's see how uh, um, if it transferred better okay the transfer went through so let's see the shape here so the shape goes like this I have to say uh, sorry they're not the most beautiful blend shapes that I've done that I've seen I didn't do them um, but uh, the transfer is is matching whatever the shapes are doing anyway so James I think you should you want to raise the the lead moving up here um, yeah so I don't know I hope uh, this um, um, gives you a bit a better idea on how to do how to do how to get a better transfer and um, I don't want to get too much into detail you can find how to edit UVs how to uh, paint texture in other tutorials so you can do the research by yourself I I don't think it's that difficult actually but if you're if you're struggling just leave a comment and I will reply okay bye for now